welcome back or welcome for the first time if you are new here. My name is Stephanie and I'm so, so glad to see you today. They're my nails. They're very blingy today. We have very blingy nails. You can see. Check these out. <laughs> These are actually, um, like a November birthstone collection, uh, from Kiss. Like the Kiss and Breath nails. Um, I always use Kiss and Breath nails for videos, just so you know. Um, but these are the November Citrine birthstone nails. And they're just very pretty. They're very pretty and very blingy. And I got them... They didn't have any other of the birthstone collection nails. It was just these. It was just these. Mm -hmm. But I thought they would make great sounds. <laughs> and they do. They're very, they're very tippy tappy. Very tippy tappy and clicky clacky. So I got the, the medium length, <laughs> the medium length blinked out. I hope you're doing really well. How are you? Happy summer. Happy summer. Happy summer. I hope that you are enjoying, enjoying the beginning of summer as of the time I'm recording this anyway. If you are watching this soon after it is posted. And I wanted to show you my shirt right here. It's not summery necessarily. a new chair, um, and I hope it's not gonna be annoying, like, I hope not, I'll try to, like, not be too, too, like, bouncy, I'll try not to be too bouncy in it, um, but yeah, that's my new, I got, like, a new chair, it's really cool, and, um, it has, oh, it has, like, these little, um, hammered, what do you call these? I guess, like, the little studs, yeah, it has, like, little gold studs, So this is 
This is my cat's new bed. <laughs> this is my cat's new bed. I mean, oh my gosh, I hope she loves it. I hope she loves it. I really do. She has a little bed, but it is getting a little worn out. It's old. It's not old, but you know, I like I like to keep my 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 girl, you know, happy and and comfy. <laughs> my cat, she has her own little bedroom at night. Um, she has her own little her own little bedroom. She for years, for years, she she used to sleep on the bed with me at night. Um, and she got into this weird phase sometime last year where she would just walk, she would get up and down and would like she'd stay there the whole night she would come walking into the bedroom anytime between like 2 and 4 in the morning hollering like have you lost your mind? like <laughs> wake me up in the middle of the night I kind of wondered if it wasn't because I give her a treat and every morning she gets a gravy can she gets a little gravy can. She she just licks the gravy, like the fancy feast, the fancy feast. So she licks the gravy can, and I think she really looks forward to that. I think she's very excited about the gravy can happening in the mornings. So I think she was just like really anticipating that, and she decided, hey, I really it's four a.m. I don't care. Get up and give me my can, because um, normally in the school year this is like a six a.m. She would come in the bedroom just like hollering and like like as if she wanted the can. So we have we have a new routine. We have a new routine. She we have a very I have a very large laundry room. Um it's very nice. That's where her food, her water fountain, and her giant litter pan already are. It's like, you know, where we keep the cat stuff in there. It's a very big laundry room. So we set, I set her up a little bed in there, and <laughs> she, that's where she goes at night. So she has her own little suite, her own little suite, princess suite, in there. And she has all the water she can drink, all the food she can eat, and because we don't portion out her food, she just eats it when she wants to. Um, and then she has her litter pan in there, and then she has her bed. We have a lamp in there that's like more of a soft for her to sleep with in there, so it's like mood lighting. So she's very well taken care of at night, and I don't feel, I don't feel too guilty. I don't feel too guilty about, about having her in her special room at night. And then even though that bed is so soft and super shaggy and luxurious, I saw this blanket, and I was like, oh, she needs a blanket. Because her bed that she has now, um, it's, it's not as, sh it's not as shaggy and fluffy like that, but it's still really soft. But I also have an extra blanket in there that's really, um, cozy for her. So, I thought, okay, if we're gonna refresh the bed, we should refresh the blanket. <laughs> we should refresh the blanket. It's a baby blanket. It is this ultra soft, ultra soft baby blanket. Um, it's, is it a brand? Um fresh and sweet. <laughs> it just says fresh and sweet on it. It's there. And it's very, very soft. It has strawberries. With all these little strawberries and flowers. It's just like this really soft pink. It's a soft pink color. And then, um, let's see, it's 30 inches by 40 inches. And you can see it's got like a little Sherpa lining to it right there. So it's very soft, very soft. It's, it's like the minky type. Yeah, it's like the minky type material. So I just thought it was adorable. It went well with the pink bed. It's all pretty and pink. All pretty and pink for Princess, Princess Precious Head. <laughs> my cat so many things that are not her name. Her name is Binks. B-I-N-X. Binks, like from Hocus Pocus. Um, but I call her so many things that are completely unrelated <laughs> to her actual name. And I couldn't explain them all to you, really. Like, they don't make any sense, but, um, Binks. Binks are, Binks are Salad. Mrs. Salad. Um, 
Madame Pomfrey, <laughs> Mrs. Nesbitt, um, there's so many, why can't I think of them now? Um, Shimu Barella, Shimu Barella, yeah, Mrs. Saladhead, yeah, there's, I'm telling you, like, it's, it's ridiculous the names I have for this cat. She knows them all. <laughs> blanket. I think it's really adorable. Very, very, very cute. Very, very, very cute blanket. Very cute blanket for Miss Pinks. And this is the next thing that I want to show you just because I'm kind of working my way down from like the big stuff to the smaller stuff. Um, but so I got this little, well I actually got two, um, solar LED lanterns for outside. Um, and this is, this is the smaller one that I got. Um, the other one is pretty much the same. It's just a little larger, a little wider. This is from House and Garden Outdoor. <laughs> Solar LED lantern. Used outdoors or indoors, um, which is pretty cool. But you can see it has the, this cute little, can you see? There you go. Yes, this cute little light bulb. This cute little light bulb. And I wish I could show it to you. For, I think this one needs to sit outside, I guess. Um, I hope, I hope it works. Um, the other one does did turn on. Um, this one not so much right now, but I think it just needs to sit outside. I think I think it's got like the little it's got like the little panel right here on the top. Put it on off. Um, but yeah, I thought these are cool. Um, my intention is to put them outside. Um, don't spend a lot of time outside right now um, on like my patio, but part of that is because it's just not like conducive for that. And I would love to actually, I would love to spend a little bit more time on my patio. So, um, I actually got a hammock. I got a hammock. I know I gotta put it together though. <laughs> See how that goes. Um, but yeah, I I want to put a hammock out there and like just have these little lights. Um, cause I just think it'd be nice. I just think it'd be really nice. Um, and these were, um, the lanterns that I got were a really good price. I thought they were cool. I'm gonna hang them outside. So, I'll put this my, on my patio, hang them outside. There, I didn't bring the big one for the video. I just thought I'd show you this one. It's really cool. I think it's really cool. Metal, black metal lantern. I am really sorry if you hear a bunch of noise. <laughs> really excited to show you this because I mentioned this makeup bag in a video sometime last year when we did a TJ Maxx video and it was about this Hello Kitty makeup bag that I liked but I did not buy because I told myself no you don't need to buy that but then I kept thinking about it and I was like oh I think I want it and I went back and it was gone Sometimes, yes, it depends on what it is, of course, but a lot of times, no, if you, if you don't get it, you, it will probably be gone the next time you go back in. So, guess what? It happened. They came back. Look, it's the little, it's the little Hello Kitty. The little Crim, the little Crim shop Hello Kitty bag. because when I went back in and I thought I'd get it, they didn't have it. And I mean, it's, we're what, almost a year later? And now all of a sudden they have a bunch of them. But for the longest time, they still had um, the Hello Kitty like pink ones that had like more of, I think, a blingy type bow. I like more of a blingy, a blingy bow, but I liked this like red, this like red patent, this red patent bow. I just thought it was adorable. It's so adorable. I don't need this in my life. It wasn't like, you know, a make or break item, but then it just became this thought of like, if they ever get these, 
hello kitty bags back in I'm gonna get it <laughs> so I did so I did and they had cute Minnie Mouse ones but it just wasn't the same it just wasn't hitting the same you know as the, as the hello kitty well cause I mean no shade to Minnie Mouse I love Minnie Mouse too but this is hello kitty Oh yeah, the creme shop and Hello Kitty right here. Cute little bag. They had a bunch. They had a bunch of these little bags. And I also got I also got another little bag. We got this really very pretty rainbow bag. Rainbow. Cosmetic bags that we got. Here is the next little item that we have. Got this bag of shower steamers. Shower steamers. Have you tried shower steamers? I haven't. <laughs> so I thought I would. I thought I would. It's so funny because I've actually given shower steamers as a gift before to somebody. I remember um, when I was like putting together like a birthday present for a friend I got like this really cool I thought it looked cool um shower steamer like mixed like a gift box thing um and I was like oh that's such a cool idea because not everybody has a bathtub or wants to take baths and stuff and use like bath bombs and bath fizzers but this is really cool these shower steamers um you just put them in the shower on the shower floor and it just the steam just releases like the essential oils and stuff um, so these are, well, they're labeled as calm, so good, good, calm, um, lavender and chamomile, lavender, chamomile. So here are our shower steamers right in here. We get 12, we get 12 little discs. And it's from a company called Asquith and Somerset. They had a couple of different brands of shower steamers available, but we ultimately went with this one. They had one that was just lavender. That was just plain lavender. Um, but I don't know. This seemed good. <laughs> they all seemed good, so I don't think I could really go wrong, I guess. I don't know. We'll see how they do. We will see. See how I like them. Our next item is this little coffee mug. This little coffee mug. If you've seen any of my other TJ Maxx hauls, then you might be aware that I like coffee mugs. And honestly, you can get really cute coffee mugs at TJ Maxx for a really good price. They're so good. Such a good price. And um, actually, prove that to myself. Hello Kitty mug at DJ Maxx last year and it's quite, you know, colorful and sparkly and all the things. It was in the video. Um, and then probably a couple months ago, I was shopping at World Market and they had the exact same Hello Kitty mug there for twice the price. Like twice the price. I was like, Whoa. wow, like that really, <laughs> that really, you know, proves. <laughs> That yes, TJ Maxx does have good deals on coffee mugs. coffee mugs. Now, no shade to World Market because I do love World Market. Like they have some cute stuff, 
they really do but they're a little pricey sometimes I think in my opinion in my opinion I think sometimes they can be a little pricey I do does not take away from how cool their stuff is <laughs> but sometimes I get a little bit flabbergasted by the price tags there <laughs> like what? okay okay y'all have lost your minds <laughs> coolest part about this mug is that it was on clearance. It was on clearance. Check it. Check it. Check it. Four. Four dollars. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I saw this a month or two ago, maybe, and I thought it was really cute because look how color- I mean, you got Kuropi here. You got Kuropi. Kuropi is adorable. Mm, definitely. But I wasn't like, OMG, I gotta buy this mug at all. I liked it. I appreciated it. I love the colors, but I wasn't, wasn't gonna buy it. Um, and then when I was there yesterday, it was on the clearance in Gap, and there is nothing wrong with this mug. I mean, I did the, I did the test. This is the test. This is the test. You run your hands all over. Because <laughs> once upon a time, I sold a ton, a ton of china and porcelain for a consigner on eBay and I did that all the time. <laughs> I was always checking stuff to make sure like it didn't have any chips or anything like that and that's a good way to check. See them, you feel them first. Of course, obviously, look. Look with your eyes. <laughs> look with your special eyes. But also, feel. You want to feel it. And there's nothing wrong with this mug. I don't see like any like paint loss here on the graphic or anything. It's really in good shape. The bottom is good. I don't think it originally came with a top or anything. And even if it did, I would not care <laughs> because I don't like top things on my mugs. I guess that's fine if you're a sipper or you do tea or what have you. I am not like that. <laughs> I get my coffee. I drink my coffee. That's what I do. Um, we do not nurse our beverages <laughs> in mugs at this house. So I don't need a top, but it didn't have a top, so it's fine. But yeah, um, and I was like all in for four dollars. Very adorable mug. Very adorable. Kurupi. Kurupi mug. Next we have this beautiful picture frame. I just love this. It has butterflies. But you can see that ring light all up in there. <laughs> It has beautiful... you can see everything. Oh my gosh, that's... The, okay, here's a tour of our lights. We have... that's my new ceiling light. Do you like that? I mean, while we're here, I mean, as long as you can see it. Isn't that kind of cool? It's like a fan, but it's like a flush mount. It's a light that has a fan inside of it. And I ended up getting a couple... actually, I got three of them. Four of them, really. Um, I replaced a lot of fixtures uh, this spring. And this was one of them, because we had those giant fans with the nipple lights. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? The nipple lights? Mm. Not a huge fan of them. Not a huge fan. So I was like, I am tired of this. <laughs> so I, um, I changed about the spring and I really like that. I really like that light. I do. So <laughs> all kinds of surprise show and tells. All kinds. But back to the frame. <laughs> Very, very, very pretty. I just really love the colors. I love the colors. It says designed and crafted in India. Designed and crafted in India. There, I think this is only like $7.99. I'm trying to take the price tags off of stuff, but I mean, picture frames, picture frames at TJ Maxx, most anything at TJ Maxx is a good deal. He, oh my goodness, just like a little Levi update, because I know some of you know him, because he's been in some videos before. Um, Levi was really sick over the spring. Like, so sick. He had walking pneumonia. Oof, that was, and he still got a cough. Like, he started, 
like end of April, early May. He still has a cough. From, he's over like the worst of it. He ended up, he missed like a whole week of school. Um, but it was really bad. And he still has, um, two inhalers. He still has two inhalers. He's doing better, but I just, oh man, he still has his cough. It just will not go away. It's better. It's not, it's not as bad. It ramps up like with, um, like physical activity. He ramps up then. Um, and he's going to camp this summer for, for a lot of the summer. I gave him a little time off here and there, but they exercise and they do, um, outdoor activities. They do all kinds of stuff at his camp. It's a really good camp. Um, he goes, he's going to STEM camp for like a month. A little, yeah, about a month. Um, and then he gets a little break and then he's going to art camp. He's a little break. He's going to art camp. <laughs> he's going back to STEM camp for a little bit. Um, but the STEM camp, they do, they do a lot of different things. It's not just like indoor STEM activities. They exercise and they go outside, they go to the park, they go to the pool, um, they do things. They do lots of things. It's really good. Um, he's gone there a couple other years too, but that's my little Levi update if you were interested. <laughs> if you were interested in a Levi update, that's what's been going on, because I'm sure you may have been able to hear him cough, maybe, in the background. So, butterfly frame. Very excited for that. Now, we have just a few more things. I will show you. We have candles. We have candles. I think we'll do the candles last. We'll do the candles last. The other couple things I got. Very, um, practical items. We have some washcloths. And I realized that I don't really have very many washcloths left. I think I may have a couple. Um, and I usually, like, I don't wash my face necessarily with washcloths all the time. I use, I have this really good, <laughs> whatever those reusable makeup weight washcloths are, like, that's what I use. Because, like, this, these, these types of washcloths will get stained. And I use disposable. I do use, like, the, the disposable makeup wipes, too. Um, and I use like loofahs and like different things, but sometimes you need a washcloth for stuff. Um, and I realized I didn't have any, really. I don't really have very many left. Um, so I was like, I like these. Let's get some. <laughs> they are, these are Tommy Bahama. That I accidentally clipped the tag off, but, um, these are Tommy Bahama brand. And I like these because they're so soft. Like, they're very soft, and they're a very pretty, um, mix of blue, green, and white stripes, which is nice. And I also got this pack. It's so colorful. It's so colorful. Now, these are soft as well, but I would say they're not as soft as those Tommy Bahama ones. Um, but they're still nice. They're still nice, because I do not want a rough, cheap washcloth. I just don't. Um... These are cute. It's a little six pack. It's a six pack um, from Studio Bell. Studio Bell. So these are quick dry, 100% zero twist cotton. Um, so I love the colors. You know, they're obviously they're all you know solids, um, but you get like this really pretty pinky, salmony, cor I don't know, color. <laughs> and then the yellow and a white. And then two different kinds of blues. Two different kinds of blues. This is more like a cyan blue, I guess. And then is this like hmm. This is um, is this like a cerulean? I feel like cerulean would be different than this, but I don't know what we call this. Cerulean's a deeper, isn't it? It's kind of a deeper. That used to be my favorite. Fun fact about me, that used to be my favorite Crayola crayon color when I was a kid, <laughs> was Cerulean. I love that. It was so cool. I love Cerulean. I used it for everything. <laughs> Anytime we needed a blue, it was Cerulean for sure. Um, but it wasn't this. It wasn't like this color. Um, it was more vibrant than this. I don't know what this is. Um, but it's pretty. The last items that I'm going to show you are candles. Candles. I'm really excited about these. They are probably my favorite candles to buy at DJ Maxx. I'll show you the one that I already started, Bernie. 
thing first. Um, I know I just got these yesterday, but um, I felt in dire need. <laughs> I felt in dire need of a salt bath, just like an energetic cleansing, you know, whoosh, the aura. Um, so I like to light a candle when I do that. So I thought this would be a really good one. This is, the company is called North Muse. North Muse. You may have seen them at your TJ Maxx. Um, if you frequent the candles, uh, but I imagine, I imagine they're in most TJ Maxx's. Um, and I've gotten these. I got some last year too, but, um, they have crystals. They have crystals in them, which I think is really cool. Um, but North Muse Crystal Manifestation, and this one is Rose Quartz. And I'm showing you this first because I've used it and you can't see the crystals. <laughs> can't see the crystals. But, um, see. you can't see them. I'll show you the other ones though. I'll show you the other ones. Um, but this has Rose Quartz. Rose Quartz Crystals for Harmony. Harmony, Love, and Peace. Um, it's Mystic Rose scented, <laughs> but they have Rose Quartz Manifestation. Write your goals on paper, attach it to the candle, light it, visualize success, and let the candle burn. Manifesting your aspirations with the loving and peaceful energy of Rose Quartz. And so that's what that looks like right there. And this is the other side. the top. <laughs> the top right there. This is the other one that looks like that one. It's the same style, but this one has lapis lazuli. Lapis lazuli crystals in it. It's blue and white. It's blue and white. You can see. Um, so yeah, this has lapis lazuli crystals in it for intuition, vision, and you. Oh, it's so pretty. I love lapis lazuli. I love lapis lazuli. So you can see we have actual like lapis lazuli crystals inside. It's so pretty. It's a blue stone. It's a blue stone. Um, and it has gold. It has like these little ribbons of gold that go through it. It's quite a beautiful crystal. It's a really beautiful crystal. But yeah, intuition, vision, and inner truth. Smelling, it smells really good. There was only one that I did not buy because I didn't love it. <laughs> I didn't love the scent. It was sunstone, which you know it's great. I have some sunstone actually. Um, but yeah, this one's pear and ginger. Pear and ginger. It smells really good. It smells really good. I like this one a lot. And I love lapis lazuli to the point that I actually got another. They had a different style. They had a different style um, of the North Muse, um, the North Muse candle um, with lapis lazuli. Um, but I got that one too. This little beauty right here. <laughs> it's crystal powered energy. Is how this one's labeled. It's the same. But um, yeah, lapis lazuli rocks with magically scented sea salt and sage. So it has a different scent, even though it has the lapis. And we have a different, a different style, different style. It's more of like a matte container, like matte glass. I don't know. <laughs> and we have the raised logo here on the gold lid. The raised lettering that says North Muse. And we take the lid off. We have our. Woodwick, but there are our lapis lazuli crystals. We have one, two, three, four crystals. Here we have this lapis lazuli affirmation, and it says, I am in tune with my inner wisdom and intuition. I speak my truth with clarity and confidence. Lapis lazuli guides me to a deeper understanding of myself and the world around me. So that little affirmation there. Sticker label here. Gold. Gold color. It's very nice and shiny. And then we just have another little sticker right there. It just says everything that we've already talked about. <laughs> the S 
sea salt and sage is a really, it's a nice combo. You never know with candles. You really don't. It can sound amazing and then you smell it and it is not amazing. <laughs> it's not amazing. And then there are candles you are just really not sure what you're gonna get because the name of the candle scent is not something that has a scent. You know? Like, night sky sounds very... Well, I don't know, whimsical. Sounds great. Magical, mystical, what have you. <laughs> but what does that smell like? I mean, night sky. I mean, where are we? Are we in a meadow in the country? Or are we in New York City? Because those have different scents. They do. <laughs> but yeah, it's just, you don't know what you're gonna get with candles. But this was very nice. This was very nice. And like I said, I did not get the sunstone candle that they had because I just didn't love the scent. I can't even remember now what it was. I can't remember what it was, but oh my gosh, I'm fine with these candles. Like, I've, I have enough candles for a minute. <laughs> I'm good. And then, our last, our last candle, and this is actually... It's our last item. It's our last item. Um, we have this cute pink and black candle by North Muse, and it's called Inner Bloom. Inner Bloom. And it is citrine infused. Citrine infused. It says, grow your sunshine. Grow your sunshine. And it is citrine infused for creativity and happiness. Creativity and happiness. Which I thought was nice. And it's the scent is peach and berry fig, which wasn't sure how that would go. But it's quite nice. It's a nice scent. It's a happy, it's like a wee, which it should be because, you know, happiness and creativity. So but yeah, there there are the citrine crystals right there. Very nice. Very nice. Citrine, they go with the citrine nails. <laughs> citrine nails, citrine crystals. Lots of citrine, lots of citrine. You can absorb, absorb the citrine energy. There you go. Absorb the energy of citrine. Um, yeah, so, really nice. Really nice. This one doesn't have, oh, it does. It has, it just says, in your heart, a seed of light growing strong, shining bright, nurture dreams, let them climb in your soul, the sun will rise. Very nice. So, the little ceramic type of lid. I like the sounds that the lids make. Can I do this? Can I do this? Let's see. Not as well. Not as well as one handed is a little harder. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really like these candles. And the one I got last year um, was like amethyst a while, and then when you're done burning it, you have crystals. You have extra crystals. Not that I needed any more amethyst. I have so much amethyst. Because, you know, we've gone to the, the gem mines and stuff, and we tend to get a lot of amethyst. I love amethyst, for sure. Um, but yeah, I just, you know, I'll have some extra, some extra crystals. After I'm done. After I'm done burning these. Okay, my friend. That is everything that I have to share with you from TJ Maxx for today. I'm really, really glad we got a chance to hang out today. This was fun. I hope we can do it again soon. I am wishing you a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day or your night and a very good sleep. And until I see you next time, take very